Hey guys, I'm Mushroom Stew here, and I welcome you guys all to another SpongeBob review. Where today I'm going to be reviewing the two new episodes, Feral Friends and Don't Wait Patrick. So here's about Feral Friends. I really enjoyed that episode. Okay, it was a really good episode, I tell you. And I really, the best part is we finally get to see Patchy the pirate. That was pretty cool. And we have more screen time of the narrator. That was really cool how they pitched him in throughout most of this episode. Since he usually narrates the beginning and sometimes the end of the episode. That's usually the thing. Alright. Yeah. So anyways. Yeah. Uh, so like anything else. I could say would probably be a, like I really enjoyed that it was Sandy's birthday seeing all the characters interacting with each other I love how Sandy's kind of been interacting with Mrs. Puff and Larry I mean that's usually I mean she has interacted with Larry before but never with Mrs. Puff like I would love literally love to see that more often Sandy interacting with Mrs. Puff since they don't usually interact is what probably the sad part is and I'm loving that we're seeing the concept of Mr. Krabs and Mrs. Puff again. I really enjoy that concept. Seeing these two characters date. And we also get to see Pearl, too. I love that Sandy got to interact with her, too. So, yeah. It was pretty cool that we got to see all the major characters interacting with each other. That was pretty nice to see. And I really like to enjoy the facts about how they talked about, by, like, actual facts about the sea critters and how and they turn into when they turned into when there was like a moon and they turned them into sea critters and at the end of the episode sandy turned into a sun i mean sandy turned into a, a realistic squirrel and yeah that was really good now on with don't wait patrick all right now we're going to be talking about the episode don't wake patrick so this episode i didn't really enjoy that much that's so sad because this episode only, like, was a really quick episode. It was all fast-paced, but I didn't really enjoy that episode since it didn't really focus too much. It was really boring. I find the episode a bit boring, just to be honest, because, I mean... But it is something Patrick would normally do, we get to see. So this is kind of like a slice-of-life episode, I guess you could say. I, w I think it might be a slice-of-life episode. I don't know what, what your guys' opinions. Do you guys think this episode is a slice of life episode comment it down below okay comment down below if this episode if you think this episode is a slice of life episode anyways i really i didn't really enjoy it that much like i mean we normally know like there's already been an episode dedicated to spongebob trying to go to sleep i mean we kind of We've had dealt with other episodes in the past. Why do we need to deal with this episode of having sleep problems? Does SpongeBob have some sort of condition of sleepness? I don't know. I mean, this isn't about SpongeBob, except this is now about Patrick trying to have, have sleepwalking throughout the rest of the episode. It was a bit boring since most of the episode just focused on Patrick sleepwalking and SpongeBob trying to wake him up. But yeah, and I, but yeah, it wasn't really that good, I guess. It wasn't really that the best episode. It wasn't really a good episode. It was more of a I would say more of like a bad like not really a bad episode. It was more of I would say more of a meh on this one. But yeah. This episode was a bit of a meh because I didn't really enjoy how quick it was. This episode was and at the end of the episode SpongeBob, SpongeBob fell asleep and went to the, to the car. And SpongeBob got sleepwalking and Patrick woke up. Yeah. But then, yeah, I feel like this was more of like another SpongeBob short, like a little mini short. I don't know. I don't know. I guess you, sh I'm not sure what to expect from this, but yeah. I mean, I'm aware that there is a Hebrews version of these two, and no, I did not want re watch the Hebrews versions. Keep in mind, I'm not really. I'm already into watching the English version since that kind of it gives us better. I mean, I feel like that's more way better than having to look at a Hebrews translation, right? Am I right, people? Okay. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. See you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
this episode of Sponge Bash. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and bash that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please go shoot that subscribe button. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.